Hello ladies and gentlemen, greetings Mac Warriors. welcome back to Mac Warrior Online, this is your host TTB speaking and today we're running the Black Widow in a very strange build. I thought to myself, well, there is so many cookie cutter Black Widow builds out there with auto cannons and ultra auto cannons and what do you know, so I decided let's do something different. Hmm, what is that? We do have four actual very very nicely situated side torso mounts for ballistic weapons. Hmm. I wonder what happens if I stick light machine guns in them. Yes, you heard me right, light machine guns. And to make that whole thing complete, we add a bunch of medium lasers, a bunch of large pulse lasers and an MRM-30 to basically give us the ability to shoot targets at about 250 plus meters uh, optimal range and still do damage up until about 500 meters with all our weapons except the MRM-30 which reaches about 100 meters longer. And that should allow us to keep relatively cool while retaining a lot of DPS on the target whenever we're not firing because we have four light machine guns. Of course, this could be normal it's machine guns or heavy machine guns. Channel. That is really up to your taste. But I just want to try and see if this is if this is viable at all or if you just die horribly. So we are about to find out right here on Crimson Sleep. Okay. One target coming up, the enemy's VIP mech is waddling around somewhere, we don't know where yet, but what I don't know is that that Oxide wants to die, so let's go ahead and oblige him. Can we get the leg though? Let's see. Ah, I missed. That was the back, not the leg. Okay. We'll keep the leg for later. Let's move in. Okay, what do we have here? An airstrike coming in. Okay, let's uh, quietly move backwards. By the way, guys, it would be so nice. How, how nice would it actually be to finally have color coding on all of these uh, smokes? So have the airstrike be a different color than the artillery strike. That would be insanely helpful. Okay. Enemy targets coming through the saddle, so that means this should be relatively safe to push here, shouldn't it? Let's go ahead and do some damage on the Huntsman. Did you see how much damage he just absorbed with his rear armor? Yeah, he's got a uh, stock rear armor. Well, doesn't matter, we're gonna go on the Oxide, one leg down, and let's chew away the second leg. Boom! <laughs> that Warhorn. <laughs> okay, Bravo enemy Warhammer coming up. He is getting taken down by our teammate. Uh, it looks like he had an XL engine. That's fine. We're just gonna follow our Timberwolf mate over here to try and see where the Black Lana went. What do we have here? Okay, okay, yeah, here come the big guys. That's a Slipnir coming our way. Mad Dog as well. We're just gonna go ahead, walk slowly backwards, get blocked a little bit by the teammate, but that's fine. And try and find a looking curry to hide in. Uh, that was actually pretty damaging to my mech. What do we have here? Oh, the Huntsman again. Here we go. As you can see, the beautiful thing is you can actually sync up the light machine guns with the lasers and just keep holding down the mouse button. So you shoot the lasers, but you also shoot the light machine guns. As you know, those light machine guns don't be fooled by the bullets, guys. So Here's another tip for you guys if you don't know that yet. Don't be fooled by the bullets of machine guns. Machine guns are hit scan weapons. That means they hit exactly where you point them, exactly at the moment you press the firing button. They don't have any bullets that travel like auto cannons. So always keep on target with the machine guns. Even if it looks like they don't hit, they are hitting. Just look at, at your target reticle. If it turns red, that means you hit something. All right. Slap near four LB10 build. He's coming right now. There's a light at the bottom over there. This is really not looking very good. Oh, that's an Irby. Let's see, can we give him a hit? Yeah, nicely to the back. If we can repeat that, we might actually be able to take him out. He's still there at the corner. Let's go ahead for his rear side torso. Perfect. Excellent check complete. Okay. More targets coming in. Um, <laughs> you know what? Let's just go ahead and shut down and see what happens. Did you notice me though? Ooh, what is that? A TTB? <laughs> <laughs> Teammate shoots him, but he, just, he still focuses on me, unfortunately. That's fine. Ooh, that Shadowhawk is open in CT, so let's, let's go ahead and try and get done as much damage as possible. LPLs miss, unfortunately. But here come the machine guns. Machine guns, don't let me down. And a Marin Freddy to boot. <laughs> we take him with us. Alright. Let's have a look at how this match develops further. Well, it looks like our teammates have found the enemy VIP who just decided to all on his own waddle through the tunnel and now he's getting shot hopefully in the back at King Crab is more going for the arm, maybe going for some damage farm, but doesn't matter. The enemy team left their VIP completely alone fighting me and the other guys in Delta 5 and uh, Charlie 5 and that's why they lost. Three killing blows, two solo kills, two kill most damage dealt, five components taken out, 720 damage done. You know what? Top damage, 
this match, with this build, hell yeah. <laughs> Weird, but nice. Okay, switching over to the Grim Lexus. I will grimly look at the enemy while I'm waiting for them to get in range, because um, that's the one flaw of this thing, except for the MRMs you don't have that much range. And so you're basically waiting for a brawl to break out, or you're waiting for a medium range engagement to break out, and then you can go in and start firing everything, including the light machine guns. They don't do much damage, but they do great damage over time, so you can just always keep them on the enemy, and it has a psychological effect where they don't feel very good because there's machine guns nibbling away at them, and there's always a danger that this could be something else with machine guns, for example, a piranha. So, you know, psychological warfare. Let's see, that archer over there, go ahead with the machine guns, MM30 is in there, side torso gone, yeah, he's pretty much dead at this point. There's really not much you can do at this point. <laughs> Except hide and wait for the inevitable to happen. Yep. There was somebody push W, so I salute you, good sir, because you pushed W to the end. Unfortunately, you pushed it <laughs> without your teammates. <laughs> Let's see, oh, the javelin leg is gone, let's go after the other leg, pew! Wow, this is just a shooting gallery on this side over here, they're just dripping, dripping in bit by bit. Perfect! Okay, what do we have here? An enemy mad cat with LRMs and UX. Kind of a little bit of a weird build, but that's okay. If he's here solo, he's also gonna get shelled very, very hard. We're just hitting his top side right now. Now he's deciding to move forward. That means for me to move in, go for the side torso, emeralds and lasers and machine guns, and we take out the side torso. Ah, beautiful. Let's just go for the other side torso. Use the cool shot here, and yeah, I well, kind of want to go for the kill shot now. Can we get the kill shot? Can you please die already? No? Okay. 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 Just, just give me a second, guys. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I don't want to be there. Oh, he wants to come for me. All right. Hey, buddy. Thank you. Thank you for putting your face into the chainsaw. Let's move forward. Okay, there was a bushwhacker somewhere around here. What do we have over there? Yeah, that's a bushwhacker running. I've got an executioner down there as well as another bushwhacker, it seems. Let's just stay for team. Yep, that target here is great for us. It's a hunchback 2C. It's got streaks and medium pulses. Interesting build. I might want to try that out at some point. I'm just going ahead and chasing him down. As you can see, it's beautiful. Those machine guns that don't add any heat. It's just DPS that you have that you can use at any time of your choosing. And uh, of course, just make sure you don't overheat because uh, Warhammer is tanky, but not tanky enough to survive if you are overheating in the midst of the enemy team. Seven kills to one though at this point, um, this should be pretty much in the bag. Teammate is in danger, I'm just gonna take away the supernova side torso. And did you notice what just happened? I shot him from behind with machine guns and he immediately turned around. People are so afraid of piranhas nowadays that if you shoot them with machine guns, they immediately turn. So, again, psychological warfare. Also potentially people going, what the f is that build? TTB? David, are you drunk? Well, I wasn't drunk when I was building that build, but I was feeling very, very happy and giggly. So, three enemy targets left on the playing field. Let's go ahead and take them out one by one. Hopefully I can actually get in range here. Yeah, doesn't look like I won't be, will be able to get in range here. There is the Annihilator going to town with auto cannons. That uh, looks beautiful. Those guys are not in for a treat. They're just in for a treatment. Very rough treatment. Yep, and it's already over. That was fast. Only one enemy mech left alive right now. Maybe in uh, Gulf 5 area? Maybe. Could also be like in, in Echo 7, Echo 8 maybe? If he's not AFKing. Let's see. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Nope, there he is. Okay, just a black liner with machine guns and heavy medium lasers. Let's go ahead and try and block off his escape route by going to this intersection between the buildings. Yeah, he's not gonna go there, so he's gonna try and escape through here. As predicted! Perfect! Right, let's keep shooting him. More damage. There we go. Good game, well played. Let's go ahead and have a look at the scoreboard.
3 killing blows, 6 assists, 1 solo kill, 1 kill most damage dealt, 9 components taken out, 642 damage done. You know what? I'm happy with that. That was a nice match. It was a little bit of a roll, of a roll but those just happen. And of course, Annihilator went to town and had a lot of fun in this match because he basically got to shoot with impunity. Okay guys, here is the build. Light engine 285, MRM30, 4 light machine guns, 2 medium lasers and 2 large pulse lasers accompanied by double heat sinks and endo steel structure. If you like this build, go ahead, give it a try and let me know how it works for you. This has been GTB in the Black Widow. Good fight, good night, see you guys out there.